Hello YouTubers, I'm Barways and this is our seventh video in Android application development. So in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, some uh, fast virtual emulators that you can use in Android Studio. So before this, I had uh, videos on Jenny Motion and also on uh, uh, Dry Forex. So uh, now let me uh, talk. Uh, you can use there are uh, some more uh, if you see if you open SDK Manager. Uh, uh, so in Android Studio we have uh, a lot of uh, virtual emulators. But what's the main problem with uh, virtual emulators that are in Android Studio? So uh, the first one uh, they are not fast and uh, if you're using Intel processor uh, then there is no problem it will work. But uh, if you have AMD processor, uh, then uh, the virtual emulators that are in Android Studio, uh, you cannot use them. So uh, you need to uh, uh, use some other uh, virtual emulators. For example, there are a lot of, uh, if you search in Google, we have uh, BlueStack, Janimotion, Nox, uh, we have uh, Tried Forex, uh, we have Andy, and also uh, we have uh, Mimo. Now, uh, so uh, Genymotion is good, uh, it's fast and uh, you can use Genymotion, but the main problem with Genymotion is that it's not free. So if you're uh, using for personal use, uh, you can see, you can use. If you see their privacy policy, uh, when you're going to develop an application and you want to publish it uh, in uh, Google Play Store and your application is integrated with AdMobs, uh, then on that time uh, you cannot use personal use of Genymotion. You need to buy that. Even though uh, uh, you can, when you're going to make video tutorials on uh, um, Android application development, uh, I have emailed them. They said that uh, you cannot use on that time if your video is uh, monetized. So by this reason, uh, uh, BlueStack is also good. Uh, uh, BlueStack uh, 3 uh, is uh, work. Uh, BlueStack 3 works with Android Studio, but BlueStack 4 uh, I have tried a lot, but it's not working. I don't know why BlueStack 4 is not working in um, Android Studio. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, it's uh, not. It's uh, I have tested in two laptops, but it's not working. Uh, now you can use Dried Forex. Uh, I have a video on Dried Forex. Uh, so Dried Forex is good and uh, you can use that uh, but the uh, main problem with Dried Forex is this that uh, uh, you can use API level 27 uh, API level uh, 17 with uh, Dried Forex now the main uh, now the main uh, uh, purpose of this video is this that uh, we have a good um, uh, Android emulator so this is called Mimo Play uh, it's uh, I have tried a lot, but uh, in my opinion, uh, Mimo Play is so good and it's fast, and uh, so you can download uh, this. Uh, it's free. Mm, you can download. Uh, it has uh, an online installer. You can download the offline installer. Uh, after I have already downloaded and I have installed this, now let me uh, open and let me show you some features of uh, Mimo Play that uh, how you can. Uh, Okay, guys. Now this is uh, my Mimo Play, and uh, now it's. Uh, uh, I'm waiting. That uh, so let me. Just okay, guys. Now you can see that this is uh, the interface of Mimo Play. Now, uh, uh, you can do a lot. We have um, so uh, you, we have a lot of settings in here. So let me just run uh, my this simple application and. Working okay now you can see that it's using uh, API level uh, 22. So let me run this and uh, I'm waiting for the Gradle build. So now guys you can see that this is my uh, application in uh, Memo Virtual Emulator. So the first when you run your application in Memo Emulator it will take about 2-3 minutes. But after that it's um, so you can see that uh, the Gradle build uh, in 40 seconds. So 
I like this uh, if I open the seating so and uh, you can see that we have uh, a lot of so you can see that this is the performance uh, you can choose and uh, you can choose resolution so right now it's tablet but you can choose mobile and you can uh, create a custom resolution this is the frame rate and also we have uh, the graphics so it's direct text but uh, you can use OpenGL and the language is English so you can see that uh, there are a lot of language that uh, you can use so in advance you can see that uh, in here the device model you can change the device model so it's right now uh, this device but you can change to Galaxy G3 Galaxy G5 Prime uh, Galaxy Note 8 and uh, you can do like this so let me just uh, choose and let me save this uh, settings are applied and also let me in the seating uh, uh, change this to mobile and let me save this and restart now so now uh, I'm waiting for this for the mobile version of uh, uh, this virtual emulator now let me just wait for this and it will take a few seconds so now uh, by you guys you can see that it is the uh, memo uh, play virtual emulator and it's the mobile version and you can send data so like this uh, you can use uh, different emulators